my room is a bit of a mess. I was doing laundry and everything didn't dry. And instead of putting it in again, I just took everything out and decided to hang it up in random places in my room. So, yes, I'm feeling lazy. Um, but anyways, let's get to the topic of this video. Everything I've ever crocheted that I can recall and that I physically have with me. This is the closest thing to me right now. It is one of the latest things that I've crocheted and it is this purple shrug, crop top shrug. I went with purple because I purple you, BTS, OT7 for life. Um, I'm like, yeah, like, just like, who doesn't love a good purple? Purple and cream. And we were gonna make this little cream like an even lighter color, but it didn't look right, so like I didn't. And even though I'm not much of a color girl, a girl who loves color. I am a black, red, gray, uh, and white girl, as we can see here. I'm not actually a white girl, I'm sorry. Yes. Anyways, I figured, you know, maybe add a pop of color to an outfit that works with this. I also like greens, and um, this is another crochet shrug. The one of my best friends. See one of these colors, which I love. It gives off very Y2K, very core vibes. I just love the shrugs, and I am a sucker for leaving the tails on my yarn because I think it adds it adds to the project. Some may find it messy, but I think it's amazing. The thing that's right in front of me right now, which I'm still currently working on, since we're on the topic of crochet shrug, is another crochet shrug. It's like purple and like tan and pink. It's another one, not for me. And I need to finish it today, cause like I could finish these things, these mother freakers in like two days, but like I have a crazy headache. Probably because I've done three crochet shrugs in a matter of like four days, so. <laughs> That's that. Um, here is an unfinished bag. And it's very cute and it's for myself because like, although I am a sucker for black, gray, red, and white, I'm also a sucker for blues, grays, whites, and tans. And also greens, browns, tans, and black. Those are the color combos that I love. Um, but I have to finish this. I have to line the inside, but my freaking brother sewing machine has been acting up. So I'm thinking about getting rid of it, getting a singer, especially because I have some big news coming up soon. Which is why I've been procrastinating making videos because it's like, it's stressing me out, guys. It's stressing me out. Um, but you have to finish it. I have to line the inside, but my machine is acting up. Although I could just use my serger, but that means I have to go to Joanne's and get fabric. <laughs> And then, you know, uh, obviously add straps, which I think I'm just gonna make it like a tote instead of a crossbody. Um, here is another bag that I made for myself. This took, <laughs> this bag, I don't know how long it took, but never again, never again. If I ever sell something like this, like, give me like three weeks to make it because these are each individual granny squares and there's nine individual granny squares on both sides so it's 18 granny squares if we do the math but you know this is just the base granny square and then we did a spider web uh crochet on top of the granny square so like yeah and this one isn't finished either as you can tell uh i think i want to line the inside but at the same time i don't know because it's pretty thick compared to the last one that we saw um and this one might have to be crossbody because it's a lot bigger than the other one. Oh my god pause i have another unfinished bag this one is for my friend um i don't even know what this type of stitch is called but like it's a million little pieces crocheted together it was very fun to make and i want to make more crochet bags just i then have to stop procrastinating and it line the inside but i, have to, I just have to go to joanne's this is one of my mini hats that i'm selling on my Am I selling this on my website? Here's my website, by the way. This is one of the many hats that I'm selling on my website. It is, uh, don't you dare say what it looks like. Don't you dare say it. It is a trapper hat. Like it folds here, you know, obviously when it's on somebody's head. This is a brown bag that I made for myself. Um, we need to fix the, this area right here that connects. Maybe I should move my head out of the way so you can see. But yeah, and it's like, Anyways, yeah, this is a uh, uh, brown crochet bag. Kind of small. The only thing about crochet bags is that, you know, you, you want to line them, but I like this unlined. Just don't put tiny stuff in it. That's it. That's it. Um, this is one of the first things ever made, and, like, it's a hat, but, like, obviously we can tell it's pretty big. It's, like, 
like where am I going with this? I like it at the same time, which is why I haven't unraveled it, you know? Vibe. Maybe not right now, but at some point it will be. My eyes keep crossing, guys. I don't know what's up. Anyways, this is like an experiment that we did, you know? It's like supposed to be like this. It like does what it's supposed to do, but it's a shirt if you can't tell. Um, but yeah, like, the thing is, when it comes to yarn, like, you need to take into account how much it's gonna stretch. So, like, she's kind of big, but she still works. And I ran out of this blue halfway through, or well, more than halfway through. So we have this blue down here, and I definitely should have moved the straps in the back around so that it'd be more fitting. Because this strap doesn't do a single thing. You, you see where I was going with this, though. This is a crochet ski mask that we did with this, like, very soft, heavyweight yarn. Um... I love it. And then we did the bottom with like a lighter yarn, you know. Why does it look like I only have like half of an eyebrow? Anyways, yeah, I really love this. Um, and I made one for my cousin that was like pink and then like green here and then green around like the eye part. And I called it like the strawberry one and it was really cute. Next thing. This is another hat that I tried to do, you see, you know, with like the cat. You know and with like tassels because i saw a hat on pinterest that had tassels and was different and i was like that's really cute i want to recreate that so i kind of just like did this as if i was making a bag and then attached the tassels and just kind of like you see you see and i just went like this just flipped it and put it on my head and now it's a hat this was another hat that i made that i actually wore like like actually wore out the house because like i liked it i still like it now except it's summer so of course i'm not wearing hats but anyways um but yeah like and i love this one even more because the tassels are way longer and i love long long tassels and how it's like continuous it's a different pattern than the other hat this is one of my favorite hats that i made pretty sure i have another one like in my closet that i also like actually actually wore that has like a lining um here i have more trapper hats but this one is my the green one um this is like another hat that i did but like you see you know you see the vision because i did um but then i'm gonna make it into a bag because it's also bag form then i was like no i just want to leave it as the hat but i don't wear it anyways so um some other things i made were these uh crochet arm warmers these are the first arm warmers i've ever made and because i'm like secretly lazy um these are kind of a lot like because once you finish making one you're like oh my god yes i made one and then you're like wait i have to make the other one now so yeah but that's everything i've made a giant mess on my floor now trying to do this but yeah thanks for watching that is all the stuff i've crocheted so far since i've been crocheting uh that i can remember Maybe I'll do this series when I start sewing more because as of right now we just have that bag right there that I've sewed and the start of a maxi skirt but then my machine broke but thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed next video I will not have these glasses on and I will not have a headache unless I film another video and I have a headache which is you know that'd be crazy I'll see you in my next video